What's up everyone and welcome to a new tutorial. Today we're going to be checking out this awesome easy slide transition you can do in your videos and guess what? I'm releasing a free preset pack so you don't even have to edit anything. You can just drag and drop this stuff and you are good to go. But I'm going to show you how to create it and also a couple tips and tricks along the way. So before we start the video, I actually want to start something new on my channel. All you have to do is drop a comment down below that you want me to ask in a future tutorial and I will shout you out if I use your question. So since this is the first one, I will ask the first question. What is your favorite thing about filmmaking? Also drop a question that you want me to ask on future tutorials so I can shout you out. But first, this effect was actually created in my recent live stream where it's two hours long of going through different transitions and effects. And I promise you, you're gonna wanna watch this whole thing because we got some pretty crazy effects going on here. So that'll be linked in the description down below if you wanna check it out. All right, so for starters, if you want to avoid everything and just get this preset pack and be on your way, all you have to do is click the link in the description down below and you can get this for free. It's zero dollars, click add to cart and it will give you the download. Now, if you wanna help support the channel, you can increase that to like five bucks or something. I'd really appreciate it, but it's free forever. All right, so once you have that preset pack, how do you actually import it? Well, all you have to do is go to the effects tab and right click on preset and select import presets. Now navigate to wherever you downloaded that preset file. You may have to extract it and click on KH crop slide preset and click open. Once you click open, you'll see this thing called Kyler Holland presets pop up and open that up. It won't look like this unless you have every preset I have ever released, but click on Kyler Holland preset, click on transitions and under transitions, you're gonna see something called crop slide slide. Now under crop slide, you're going to see all of these effects. We have a slide down, we have a slide left, slide right, and slide up. Well, how do you use it? So this is how you use the preset pack. And then I'm going to show you how to actually make it. So say you want to transition in between these two clips. All you have to do is click on your video that you're transitioning to and drag that over your video layer as long as you want the transition because this preset pack will scale. So if you want your transition to be that long, then you can drag it to that long. And then all you have to do is hit see on your keyboard, make a cut on both of the starting and ending points of that transition. So you have something that looks like this. And now all you have to do is go to the presets in the effects tab and select which way you want to slide. So if you want to slide right, we're going to click slide right bottom layer. So we're going to click and drag that onto our bottom layer, slide right top layer onto our top layer. And just like that, if you play back through this, it will slide right. Now it's a pretty seamless slide and it looks pretty cool, but just to show you how fast and easy this is, you can literally click and drag and cut this down, cut this down and let's do a slide left bottom layer, slide left top layer and play that back. So how do you create the effect? Well, it's pretty simple. We're gonna transition in between these two clips right here. So all you need to do is start with a first clip. So pick how long you want your transition to be. You can go to the center and hold the shift key and left arrow key, let's say three times, one, two, three. And I'm gonna hit C on my keyboard and make a cut because this is all I wanna work with. And all you have to do is type in crop in the effects tab and drag on the video effects crop onto that clip right there. And now we're gonna click the zoom button. So watch what happens if you change the cropping on when zoom is selected, you'll see that it starts to stretch the image. So if I want to transition this to the left and pull the image to the left, I'm going to start the keyframe in the very beginning at left 0% and go all the way to the end or somewhere close. And you would think that you drag this all the way to 100%. But if you drag it to 100%, Premiere glitches out a little bit. So what you're going to do is actually type in 99 and then drag that to the end. So now we have this, it looks like that and it pulls it to the left but it doesn't look that good. So what you want to do is right click on your first keyframe, go to ease out, right click on your next keyframe and go to ease in. Now that you do that, click this down arrow. And what we're going to do is click this keyframe and drag it to the right to smooth that transition out. And then the rest is good. So now it looks like this. It slowly pulls to the left and it quickly snaps in. So what we're going to do is the exact same on our top video layer. So again, all you have to do is drag this video on top and then cut that down to size. And we need to adjust this layer. But notice that if we drag on the crop tool, 
if we change it to zoom and we pull it to the left, it's actually not going to work the way we want it to because we actually need this to pull in from the right. Because if we bring it back, it's not going to pull in from the right. So what we need to do is the opposite. Since the beginning one we pulled from the left, this top one we're actually going to keyframe the right portion at 99 right away and drag that to the beginning and then go all the way down or click this reset button down to zero. This way that if we play this back, you'll see that it's actually pulling in from the right hand side, which will give us the idea that we are actually sliding the scene. So now all you have to do is right click on the first keyframe, go to ease out, right click on the next one, go to ease in, and we're gonna do the exact same process. Click on the right keyframe and drag this all the way out and we're pretty much done now. But watch what happens. If we play this back, that transition happens to come in right away because we don't want this top video layer coming in right away. So all you have to do is keyframe the opacity. So we're gonna change the opacity down to zero, set a keyframe and drag that to the beginning and go all the way to the end, reset that opacity all the way up to 100% and then right click on our first opacity layer, go to ease out, right click on our second opacity keyframe and go to ease in. Now, if you play this back, you'll see that it starts to pull to the left and that opacity is coming in and then it pops in just like so. If you don't like how much the opacity is coming in, you can change the opacity or you can click and drag this out so it's a little bit slower. So you see that pull and it goes like that. That entire transition looks like this. So pretty seamless and pretty cool. Now, for example, if you want to do any other direction like top, right, left, or bottom, just remember that if you go to the bottom on your first bottom layer, then on your top video layer, you need to go on the top portion. Just flip whatever you are doing. For example, in our beginning example, we went left first and then we had to go from the right because you want to create the idea that your image is pulling to the left and then it's pulling to the left right here so that it's a seamless transition. But again, I've created a preset pack with everything, so just click the link in the description down below if you want that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and if you did, please click that like button and let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always, subscribe if you're new because I'm gonna be making some more stuff in the future.